Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where four toys gather together on Thursdays at four o'clock to talk about the world of J.R. Token and beyond. Enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Whoa, Susie. Why you gotta be like that? Because I can't. <laughs> well, guess what, folks? Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> Only if you're in America. But to the rest of the world, says Happy Traders Day. <laughs> Yeah, you remember what we said last year around this time? It's like America said, I don't want to follow your rules. I'm going to go out and make my own. Yep, and look how well that worked out for everyone. Yeah. Ha, hey, America, how's that freedom and independence working out for you, huh? Yeah, especially when we had War of 1812, Civil War, Spanish-American War, World War War, World War II, Korea War, Vietnam War, War of Terror, and uh, Persian Gulf War, and whew, whoops, <laughs> I guess we kind of had the last two mixed up, but still, how's that working out for you? Ah, uh, working out great, I think. Okay, so here's the thing, what? Now that we've reached Independence Day... Yeah, last year we were singing that Toy Avengers theme song while trying to declare ourselves free from the evil Thanos. Well, guess what, folks? What? We are permanently free from the evil Thanos. Yay! Yes! Thanos is gone forever! No more stupid Thanos! It is stupid Clef! It is stupid Quest! For stupid Balance! For this earning of stupid hate! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, not to worry, there'll be other bad guys to join it up. Yeah, because guess what, folks? Spider-Man Far From Home is out with the end of snow! Yay! Oh, I'm glad we're going to... So I'm glad we're sit that thing off the okay? Because I am sick and tired of him. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not going to take a long time to do this, but... Hey, while every business is closed for <laughs> Fourth of July... We're still open. We're tea and talking. Yep. And you're here at tea and talking. We celebrate the fandoms. Such as. Huh. Well, I don't know. And, you know, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Avengers Endgame is a hundred times better than Avatar. Yes. There. I said it. No, I will not apologize for it. <laughs> well, Susie, you seem too happy. Of course I'm happy. <laughs> Of course, though, we're still working on a scripted series called Just Another Random LPS Video. Yeah. Just another random show? Yes, yeah, Just Another Random Show, which has skits, drama, and all kinds of other fun things. Yeah, let me tell you something. <sighs> Do we have to start the show? Yes, you're going to start the show. Why? Because I'm going to play a YouTube famous celebrity. Everybody knows who I am on YouTube. But, it doesn't always, fame, being internet famous isn't the same as being real life famous. Exactly. <laughs> and all these internet famous people though, they're causing nothing but trouble. I want to turn that around for good. Yeah, Susie, we want to turn that around for good. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Here's the next thing. Yes? Now that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has closed the first chapter of its story, what do we do next? Since we are free from having to deal with the evil Thanos, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are three big baddies that we want to deal with. Dr. Doom, King the Conqueror, and Galactus. Ugh, ugh I hate Galactus. <laughs> that guy eats planets. Yeah, like, why would I want to deal with somebody who eats planets? Ew. Okay. I think Dr. Durr makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> Especially when you bring in the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Well, somebody's got to stop. Stop bad guys. Yeah. And, uh, problem is, we ain't got enough iron in our diet <laughs> anymore. That was just me. Bow! Tony Stark should not have to die. Bow! 
and a beautiful you, Thanos. Ah, I want him to die a horrible, painful, excruciating death. I don't care who does it. I want Thanos dead. Gee, you know something? Silly. Everybody wants Thanos dead. I mean, now that Endgame has come and passed, maybe we should make another video call Toy Stuck in the Airport. The Infinity War edition. Yeah. Actually, it's called the Endgame edition because, well, you know, <laughs> Thanos <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's like everybody in the universe wanted Thanos dead. Yes. <laughs> I saw sorry Thor should chop Thanos' arm off. Yeah, before he snapped his fingers, then there wouldn't have been a need to call Captain Marvel. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, there still would have been a need to call Captain Marvel. Why? Because Thanos would have would have put the glove on his other hand and, uh... Yeah. But still, Thanos still run around the universe with an arm and his anger and rage. Yes, you still gonna need Captain Marvel for that. Yeah. And I can't wait to see her do more movies. Yeah, and lead the Avengers. <laughs> like, yeah, we got some new Avengers now. <laughs> we got Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Dr. Strange, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. There you go, six new Avengers. Yay! <laughs> and they'll be heavily dealing with whatever bad guys decide to show up. And tear it up with other people. Yeah, of course. We got no Iron Man or Black Widow now. Captain America is old, and then he'll probably die. And then we got Hulk losing an arm. Oh, don't worry, Sherry will build him a new one. How can she out? Hawkeye has permanently retired again, and Thor is fat and running around with guardians. Ah, hey, Thor, I don't care how much people like you when you're fat. That's a freaking white! Ah! Thanks, Susie, why you gotta do that? A bill to anybody who wrote that plot about making Thor fit. Hey, I'm sure he'll be losing weight by the time Guardians of the Galaxy 3 comes out. Of course, he better lose weight. We got Guardians of the Galaxy Part MP3. The Search for Gamora. <laughs> the Search for Gamora? Yeah, it's like Star Trek 3. The Search for Spock. Yeah, no, maybe we should make it look like that. Gamora goes bad for a while. And then, of course, at the end, she finally turns good. Yay! Right now, what about Loki? Yeah, you're right. Whatever happened to Loki? Oh, Loki. He said, he's finally gone around, being his usual naughty self. Hi, I'm Loki, and I like to be naughty. <laughs> yeah, it's like that comic that is out there where he's like, I just wanted to take over the earth. Everybody worships you as their god of thunder. You even got a snake hole four sitting after you. And what do I have? An eight legged horse baby. Well, in Thor's like, oh, come on, Loki, it's not like that. It's like, oh, you be quiet. Why don't you go enjoy your Thor's this afternoon while I have to stay at home and take care of my little horse, my little horse baby. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what then. Why? Thor and Loki and possibly Hela could have killed Thanos on a on a weekend trip. But Odin was just a straight up jerk. Yeah, I hate that stuff at Odin. Ah! Whew. I just Ah, you just love to throw all the abuse. Yes, I'm throwing all the abuse today. Abuse! Abuse everything! You just love throwing out all the abuse, don't you? Well, guess what? After I throw all the abuse, I won't be done yet. Because, well, there's still the Black Widow movie. And besides, we got a quantum tunnel now. So if there's a way she can come back, of course she can come back. <laughs> Come on, they just solved that problem. A quantum time travel machine. Yes! It's, come on, but be careful about time travel, because remember, the present you go, you leave, becomes your past. 
Oh, the present is the past. And the if you go back in time, that time period becomes your future. Oh, see, you see, you see, now we know what we're talking about. Yeah, so that means Back to the Future probably was a dumb idea, I think. I mean, oh. Dang it, Professor Hulk, you ruined my favorite movie. Ugh. I feel to Professor Hulk for calling Back to the Future stupid. Ugh. Well, still, there is a way for them to come back. Yeah, you want to know what I wish? What? I wish we could go back to the days when it was 2012 and the Avengers were first meeting and getting together and all we had to worry about was Loki. Huh. Actually, Loki who was brainwashed and controlled by stupid Thanos. Yeah, I hate that stupid Thanos. I'm glad he's dead. Well, we're all glad he's dead. Because, think about it. I'm just glad Thanos is dead. And if he's not dead then, he's certainly dead now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, him getting snapped to death was exactly more than what he deserved. Yeah, although I still wanted to see Nebula punch him in the face. Or oh, Captain Marvel. <laughs> or even Loki. I mean, Loki should have came back, chopped Thanos' head off and said, Told you you'd never be a god. Or, or I like the one where Grandmaster shows up. Well, first Loki's crying. That's him. That's him over there. That guy tried to kill me. <laughs> and the Grandmaster shows up. And Thanos turns and screams. <laughs> because he knew he made an elder very, 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 very angry. Yes. And then he's, okay. Kill two hours, I grab out there, smack at that all around. And then and then everyone's like, oh my gosh, Loki literally just saved the universe. <laughs> my fate, ah, Loki. Yep. Loki's Loki just saved the universe. After all. Of course Loki's Loki just saved the universe. <sighs> See? Yeah, but but the problem is you can't have Thor without Loki. Yeah, you can never have Thor without Loki. Oh, come on. That's not how we do things around here. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's how we do things around here. So, what did we say last year about Tolkien and, and uh, Independence Day? Well, um, not very much. I mean, yeah, the good guys won and they're free from him, but... Yeah, but it does feel kind of racist against orcs. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about that for example. <laughs> so, uh, the orcs... Yeah, Sauron is a bad guy with orc armies. But even if he's a bad guy with orc armies, well, don't you think some orcs want want to be, you know, good? Yeah, making an orc be good. Come on, hashtag 2020, make orcs be good! Yes. That's the issue here. The issue is, orcs probably should some, I mean, come on. History is written by the victors to punish the losers. But, uh, the worst part is, Loki, I mean, what if Loki came to Middle Earth and convinced all the orcs there to be good? I'm pretty sure Azog wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> if Azog didn't listen to him, then Azog gets a knife to the face. <laughs> oh, you just love seeing Azog get a cut to face. I just want to say Azog die. Hopefully, from a spear thrown to the head by a bar of sand. Yeah. And then, of course, Sauron probably should die that way. <laughs> because, um... Right. And there are some talk about having Tom Hiddleston play a younger version of Sauron. Oh, great. So, instead of Tolkien invading Marvel, Marvel invaded Tolkien. Yes! <laughs> Come on. We've, we've seen a return of our favorite, our Tolkien heroes. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch came back. Yay! <laughs> and eventually Lily came back to Yay! Yeah, but uh, what about Hela? I bet you that Loki died and went, and went to Niflheim, and then Hela saw was like, Get out of my kid now! <laughs> and, take all these, and take all these useless jerks with you! And then she grabs Loki and the Warriors 3 and hired out a whole bunch of Asgardians who were with Loki on that ship and do 
about her cake, though. <sighs> and Loki said, well, isn't this nice? Oh, well, everybody, let's go. Let's go move to that one place where my dad died. And, uh, because everybody there is waiting for you. And so they all moved back there. And then Loki's like, hey, hey, Val, where's my brother Thor? He's like, oh, yeah, your brother skipped town. He's running around at Guardians. Oh, and uh, he's pretty fast. Like, what? God, that's it. Oh, do I have to do everything myself? All right, uh, you you stay here and take. Why don't you take care of those people? I gotta go get my brother and knock some sense into him. Ah, oh, do I have to do everything myself? So, so Loki takes Seth and Warrior Three, and they, they go off to find Thor. And uh, when he gets there, ha, huh, kill like forty five minutes of Loki smacking Thor in the head, screaming at him for getting fat and. Ugly. Hey, where's the star player? What? No! <laughs> and then next to you know, Star Lord, Drax, Mantis, Rocket, and Grill are, and possibly Nebula, and even a hmm, 2014 Gamora are watching this thing happening with shock on their faces. Well, Seth and Warriors 3 all shake their heads going, Oh my gosh, Thor, what have you been? Oh, <laughs> Volstagg probably will be jealous because <laughs> Thor's as fat as he is. And he says, In the end, you won't eat a stop eating. You're going to eat a salad. You're going to lose weight. You're going to like it. <sighs> if we don't get that same girl again to the Galaxy 3, I'm going after James Gunn. You better put that sand and undescribed in that movie or else. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you up there. Come on, Tara. A horse is saying Loki scream at Thor for getting fat and ugly and forgetting him. And then Thor's like, I kept thinking about you every day, Loki. I needed you and you weren't there. <laughs> and then he starts crying and then Loki immediately feels really, 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 really bad. And cars. Wait, wait, what about when Loki escaped from the Tesseract? That's the Loki he's talking to. And then of course, I'm so, so, uh, <laughs> so Thor's playing well and then this, and then and then, still alive, Loki screams at him. Yeah, and everything that I've said before. <sighs> and then, next thing you know, everybody's watching. <laughs> and then they're all shaking their heads. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. Okay. All right. So, I think that's all for now. Why is that? I thought we were supposed to be doing uh, Tan Talking. We did. And we did discuss some of the things about Independence Day. But we haven't because guess why? What? Tolkien never came to America, so how would he know about uh, America Independence Day? Exactly. So, thank you all for tuning in to this broadcast. I'm afraid we're going to have to cut this thing short because we got some uh, Independence Day stuff to do. Yeah! And, uh, Watch Men in Black <laughs> International Theaters and Spider-Man, um, Far From Home. And if you don't do those things, well, I'm bad at you! Okay, everybody. Now, you know who I am? And I. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you know what? That's it. I know the show, and the show is over. So, meow! Goodbye! 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 <laughs>